Hello everyone, it is Michelle Litwiller with Owl Star Stampers and today I have a very quick and easy card for you to make that will still be very beautiful using very minimal supplies. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, make sure you like this video and subscribe if you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel and thank you so much for doing that and sharing. I um, appreciate that. Okay, so today I picked out the Courage and Faith stamp set. Um, this stamp set is not retiring and I really love the little Bible verses in this set. Um, the star of the show is going to be our designer series paper. And for this type of card, um, we have had several different designer series papers that have like these kind of like sceneries, like watercolor paintings. Um, so if you have any of that, um, that will be perfect for this card. This pack of paper is the Meandering Meadows 6x6 designer series paper. It is currently in our online exclusives. So that's what I'm going to be featuring today. If you are watching this at a later date, um, this is currently filmed in April of 2024. In May, we have another beautiful pack of paper that will be coming out that is called the Thoughtful Journey Designer Series Paper. So this paper that will be coming out in May would also be great to make this type of card. Okay, let's get into what you need. All you need is an ink pad, a stamp set with some words. Uh, you're gonna need a half a sheet of paper for your card base and a piece of white. So this piece of paper just measures eight and a half by five and a half and on the eight and a half side we're just going to do a little bit of scoring. So on the long side, the eight and a half side, we're going to score it at two and one eighth and four and a quarter. So basically you are, I'll show you, you're just going to fold it in half like normal and then you're going to fold the front in half. So normally we just fold it in half, that's our card base, and then the front you're just going to fold in half again. So that's two and one eighth and four and one quarter. Okay, now for our designer series paper, um, I picked out this piece with the flowers and there's like a little, um, is that a little fence back there and trees and water, so pretty. So we're going to cut off the bottom at five and one quarter. And then this is a six by six piece, so we're just going to cut it into two inch pieces. So you'll need three of these. So two, and then this one, two. So we have three pieces now that measure five and one quarter by two. And then you're going to need a piece of white, basic white, that measures five and one quarter by two as well. So you'll have these pieces. All right, that's it. Let's... Um, start putting our card together. On this white piece, we're gonna do some stamping. And I'm gonna stamp um, this one right here, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, Proverbs 3, 5. And I'm using my cardstock base color is Sweet Sorbet. This is a color that is current currently gonna be retiring. And I pulled in the color from the flowers down at the bottom. I really like this. Um, color and so I'm using it one last time. So I have the Sweet Sorbet ink pad that we'll be using. I'm just going to ink this up, my sentiment. I'm going to stamp this right here just like that. All right now you're going to just want some glue to put this down. This truly is like one of the quickest cards and it's still so darn beautiful. Okay, so next up, let's take our pieces. Yep, they go all in a row like that. And you can use um, your liquid glue or your stamp and seal. I'm just gonna take my stamp and seal and I'm going to go down the sides. And then the first piece is gonna go on the outside flap. So I'm going to just stick this down here. Okay, and then our next piece, you'll just layer that down. 
I have a couple of different examples to show you too at the end of the video. Okay, there's that one. And then we're gonna put this one down. Look at the back of this paper, totally coordinates as well. This one is gonna come right here. Isn't this so pretty, these panels, how they just kind of line, line right up. And then our basic white is gonna go here and then you can write your message underneath that. You could also, if you need more room, add a piece of white to the back of the card to write on there. Okay, so there is that. That is it. So here is our card. It kind of will stand like this, but when it stands up, you can see, it's kind of hard to show on video, you'll be able to see the whole scene of this um, when it's displayed upright, like on a table or a shelf or what, wherever the person you mail this to. So I hope you love, I hope you love this card. Let me know again what you think of it in the comments. And let me show you a few other um, versions. So I have another one of these. And then I have from that same pack of paper, I took this one using um, Daffodil Delight. So there's uh, that one. And then <clears throat> I took a pack of retired paper. If you have been around Stampin' Up! last fall, this paper was so hot and popular but I took a piece of this paper to create this card, uh, just to give you a different idea. And then again, my last card is featuring the upcoming paper from our new annual catalog in May, The Thoughtful Journey, and this is the card I made with that. It also features a new in color uh, Petunia Pop. So there is that. So again, I hope you love this card. I hope you'll give it a try, these little panel cards. And thank you for watching today, friends.